Whoops. Hey, coaches, listen. If you don't know him, this is Justin Edge. Hey, guys. Justin leads all of Life Kids, all 24, soon to be 25 campuses. So I just wanted to get um, some feedback from him, um, specifically as it applies to coaching. First of all, Justin, yes. how are you doing? I'm doing awesome. How are you doing, Christina? <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> great. Okay, um, so 2015 for Albany Life Kids, honestly, we, we really had a great year, and the coaches yeah. know it. We've talked about numbers and everything. But I just, um, just hearing from you, when you think of Albany, when you think of Albany Life Kids, what comes to mind? Oh man, when I when I think about uh, the Albany campus, the first thing that comes to me is community. Yay. You guys are doing absolutely amazing in your community. I'm following on your Facebook page. You're always praying for each other, trying to help each other out. And actually, in 2015, we set a goal. Our goal was how can we get kids to attend more than once every four weeks? How do we transition kids from coming once, the 25% a month, to more? And there's one campus that did that successfully in all 24 campuses. That was Albany. So you guys are doing the right thing. You are connecting. You're creating those positive environments that allow small group leaders to be successful. So thank you, guys. Good job. Thanks so much, Justin. And then another thing that we've been talking about as a team is 2015, awesome year. But the truth is, is what got us through 2015 oh, yeah. is not going to get us through 2016, given that the end of that could be a brand new building. So in your oh. mind what would be the thing that we can focus on, and especially as coaches, uh, that we can dig into to get us through 2016? Um, yeah, one of those biggest things that I can think of is we're always talking about our small group leaders providing a lead small and a community feel to those kids, okay? We want those kids to come back every week. Now, that also translates to your leaders. You're gonna have to do that to your leaders, invest in your leaders, each and every week to where they want to come back each and every week because Albany's only going to get bigger. It will not get smaller. And so you've got leading well with leading your leaders to invest in those kids, but now you've got to invest in those leaders. And I think that's absolutely crucial in how are you multiplying yourself. Man, when Christina really pours into you, talks to you about stuff, what two or three leaders are you sharing that with? And then what are they sharing as they continue on? So you cannot be a person who just thinks task, 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 but you gotta look at the experience and go, how well are small groups happening? How well are those leaders partnering with parents? How well are you being poured into and developing other people? I think that's absolutely crucial to Christina's success for you and your success for your team. That is awesome. Justin, thank you for being awesome and just leading an amazing, amazing ministry. High five. Love you guys. <laughs>